Hi, this is Janet Porter, uh, the author of the Heartbeatville book called A Heartbeat Away. But uh, it's coming out next month, but I can't wait to, uh, to tell you about it because uh, time is of the essence. There's a chapter in this book, which is a tell-all, that's called The Enemy Within. And it talks about uh, the attack against righteous leaders and against the, the heartbeat bills across the country. Uh, we experienced it first in Ohio with Ohio Right to Life, who, by the way, uh, even though the champion Candace Keller was a uh, joint sponsor of the heartbeat bill, the main sponsor of the conception bill, who works uh, during the day when she's not a state representative at a pregnancy center, running a, a pregnancy center, Ohio Right to Life endorsed her less pro-life opponent, costing her her Senate seat. And it's appalling, and I just can't wait any longer because they're doing it again. Not only did pro-life groups uh, attack the heartbeat bills in Ohio, in Michigan, Tennessee, in Kansas, in Indiana, in Missouri, in Texas, in West Virginia, in, Nor uh, in also National Right to Life. That's the key. National Right to Life is now going after the number one most pro-life person in Congress. His name is Steve King. He's the sponsor of the heartbeat bill. He has championed this bill, the pro-life bill, with more co-sponsors than any other pro-life bill in Congress. And yet... Even though he has a 100% pro-life voting record, National Right to Life did not endorse him. They endorsed his less pro-life opponent. Uh, it's appalling. They like rhinos, and they endorse rhinos. And that's what we find, and that's what we're finding here, and it can't happen. Uh, and so before you get the truth where I've researched everything, everything is backed up, it's ironclad of what, take, what took place, what's happening around the country, we need to, to come and stand to Steve King's defense. Congressman Steve King, who's been railroaded, railroaded over a misquote in the New York Times. Because, you know, the New York Times doesn't, isn't really known for any particular liberal agenda or anything. Um, no, it's, it's appalling what they're doing to this righteous man. And we need to stand with him. And uh, his primary is June the 2nd. So if you know anyone that lives in the state of Iowa, or you know anybody that has a, a, a direct line to God, we need some intercessors. We need some people on the ground to help him to post things, to get it out, because this, this champion has been targeted by National Right to Life, and he needs to be returned to Congress. And we need to do away with this appalling uh, uh, policy that blocks bills that end abortion. You know, look, if, you, if you're not willing to, uh, to, to bring the killing to an end, then you need to get rid of your, your name, right to life, uh, or, or find something else to do, because uh, it's, it's, it's what's happening. We experienced it here in Ohio for nearly a decade. Um, the group that fought harder than anyone else, even more than Planned Parenthood, even more than NARAL, it was Ohio Right to Life, fought the bill. Of course, they ran to the front of the parade, you know, minutes before the bill was signed. But what we're seeing, what we're seeing in, in, in Iowa, I just had to speak out. I just had to say, listen, the book doesn't come out till next month, but I have to give you a preview because it's happening again, this time against our champion, our hero, Congressman Steve King. Please pray for him. Please contribute to his campaign. And please, if you live in Iowa, you need to vote for this man if you live in his district. Uh, and uh, I thank you for it. And uh, next month, we'll get you a copy of this book. Thanks.